Hello, I'm Al Koyalwaima and uh, today I'm going to do a short demonstration of adding a coil to a pot that I call a Mesa Verde. Uh, this is some raw Hopi clay from the mesas in uh, northern Arizona and it's off the Hopi Reservation and it's a kind of a kaolin based clay and from this hard rock or, or uh, clay, uh, it is crushed and made into a rough form. And I'm going to take the rough form now here and I'm going to wedge some of it so we have something to put a coil on a pot. Now, what I'm doing here is uh, wedging clay and the, and the purpose of this wedging process of the rough clay is um, Get all the air bubbles out of it and to make a nice smooth material for making coils because all the pottery I do is coil pottery. There's two ways to form coils. You can form them in your hand or down but this is just a lot easier process to get a uniformity. Uh, so I just put it on a table like this. But I need to get it down to the size that I need to adding a coil to my pot here. Uh, I've rolled this clay, I've processed it so you don't get to see me doing all the work with the clay in terms of getting it ready, but I'm going to add a coil. The whole process is a coil process. It's an old traditional process of making pottery uh, in the Southwest and probably all over the Americas for that matter, whether it be Central America or um, South America, and I'm going to uh, form this up, get the clay ready to actually add to the previous piece. As you can see, I've already formed with coils of uh, the previous piece here, and I'm um, going to have a shape that comes in, and uh, you'll see that in a later photograph. I'm going to add some additional clay to this piece to complete it out so you can see me adding the coil. Okay, I'm going to start here with the clay addition. one clay into the other clay and supporting it at the same time so I don't lose the form of the clay. And that's what I'm going to start to do right now. I'm going to start to shape and squeeze at the same time. We've got to put the coil on. And now we'll go around and just roughly shape the piece. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get to the final uh, smoothing for this coil. I've slowly pulled it up. I'm using the combination of my fingers, tips, and the rest of my hand to pull this coil up. It was originally this diameter down here, but you can see I've doubled uh, and maybe make it about two and a half times as high at the whole time I'm smoothing this out and getting it at a constant thickness. Uh, my, my fingers are like a little gauge. And now that we've uh, attached the coil to the um, previous clay part of the base, I'm now smoothing uh, this shoulder out and I'm using somewhat of a modern tool here. Still using the basic techniques though of our ancient work. Don't worry about these edges, we're going to get them all smoothed out. Now, having done this, my next step is uh, I have a, a, a little cut out of form. I want to make sure it has the right angle, so I'm going to uh, put just check this an angle because that's where I want to go with the shape of the pot. Don't have to use this too much, but kind of gives me a little bit of a guide. 
to where I want to go. I still can freeform it any way I wish. Now what I'm going to do is just trim the top here a little bit. Get it evened up on the top and then get it ready for the next coil. Which is going to be added to this. The one I just added.